Hey guys, I'm Mike and welcome to the Sim Racing Den. This is going to be a quick video um, talking about a new feature in SimHub, or not a new feature, but new feature to me that uh, I found extremely useful. I always struggled um, with having multiple wheels, uh, even before I switched to SimiCube um, and now have a few different button plates to use. In terms of those um, mapping those controls within games, typically if you're like me and have a couple different wheels, you have to have a couple different presets within each game, let's say through a set of Corsa or ACC or even iRacing, uh, or you may have to remap those controls every time you switch steering wheels. Well, basically this plugin within SimHub and the combination of an external application called VJoy, uh, that problem has completely gone away for me. Now it does require uh, a little bit of setup and work in the beginning, but once you've done that, it's basically just gonna be plug and play from there. Um, but I've taken out the, the hard part for you and I've figured out how to do this. So I'm gonna go through in some easy steps here how to do this. And hopefully this is, if you're not sort of understanding what I'm talking about exactly, hopefully this will make more sense as we go through this as to what this will help you achieve, especially if you have um, more than one steering wheel that you use. So the first thing that you'll need to do, obviously, is you need to make sure you have SimHub. Now, if you're new to sim racing, you're not familiar with SimHub, uh, the best way I can describe it is it's a companion application to um, unlock a lot of different features and be able to use different devices and peripherals with your sim racing setup, as well as help control and, and improve some of the, the other hardware that you may already have. So for an example, if you have a, any kind of haptics or a butt kicker, SimHub I find is one of the best ways to run that even versus their own software to be able to uh, map you know, different uh, vibration effects and things like that. Um, also, it's mainly used for controlling dash displays. So I have a, a, a DDU unit here and that's what allows me to set different dash templates and things like that. But within this software, and this is something I never really explored or, or I guess paid attention to before, there's a plugin called the Control Mapper. Uh, and they recently made some updates to um, this Control Mapper within, um, or sorry, it's a, it's a new feature basically, but um, there were alternative um, various external solutions. One they said here was called joy to joy that it, some people may have already been using, um, but apparently this is um, in, in what SimHub is describing here is, is a better option. And if you're already using SimHub, I personally like to just keep everything in one application. It just makes things a lot easier than having everything controlled different ways. So with this new control mapper plugin, um, they've also suggested using the external app called VJoy, which you will need to um, work with this new control mapper plugin. Um, so first thing you'll do is, is go to the SimHub website, obviously, and download the latest version. Right now it's 8.2.3, um, but you can the important one to have is 8.2.2, which is what in, includes this new mapper plugin. The next thing you'll need to do is install the VJoy application. Now this is an open source program, it's free to use. I'll include a link in the description where you can download that. Just a matter of installing that and making sure that that's running on your, your PC before you uh, set this up. So let's close out Chrome and let's open up SimHub. So within SimHub on the side here, this is where you're gonna see a lot of the different setting menus or plugin menus. In this case now we see the new uh, control mapper plugin. And by default, you'll see this output mode will probably say disabled when you open this up. But once you have VJoy installed, you'll want to click this option here. Now, the VJoy settings, I wouldn't worry too much about this within the beginning. I haven't really found a need um, to change the target VJoy. But basically what this means is that if you had more than one um, VJoy setting, um, and I, probably at this point I should explain exactly what VJoy is. Now, VJoy is a, a virtual controller. So it basically looks like a controller or a game controller on your computer, obviously not being physical, but virtual. So you can actually have, you know, as many of those as you want. In this case, we only need one for the purpose of wheel swapping for sim racing. So you'll leave that at one. The next one is output mapping. So output mapping, the way this, uh, the best way I can describe this is this works is it essentially takes the control numbers out of the equation. You may have noticed when you set up steering wheels within games, you press a button in the settings menu, you'll see like a number come up like button 42. That's basically each wheel has different um, numbers assigned to it um, that correspond to the control within your PC and tell the game, you know, this is lights or this is pit limiter. 
essentially what SimHub and VJoy doing are, are taking those numbers out of the equation, which means that everything stays consistent. But we're in SimHub, we're going to tell SimHub what each button on each of our steering wheels should mean in words, shift down, shift up. I hope that explanation made sense, but I think things will become more clear as we go through the setup. Okay, the next piece, now we'll get to this later, but what you should do first is check out this mapping assistant because the mapping assistant is, in, is important when we actually go to map the, the controls within the game itself, within a set of course or iRacing or ACC. So the, the easiest way I've found to do that actually is you you could type it in on your, on your browser. You wanna do this on your phone essentially. It makes it easy. So it's just a matter of scanning this QR code. And then what will happen is um, basically once we scan that, let me just bring this up on my phone, you'll get a menu like this. I don't know if you can see that, but it has all the controls there. You'll see shift up, shift down, horn, headlights. And we're gonna use this and actually press on this when we map the controls in the game later on. So I'll get to this later, but just make sure you do a quick test, make sure this working. It's essentially just running over your um, network connection and connecting to SimHub. So the first, uh, or sorry, the next thing we need to do now is we need to add our first source controller. Now a source controller essentially is your steering wheel. So in this case right now I have connected, um, I'm trying out the turn racing BB2 button plate with one of my wheels. So we'll hit that, hit okay, make sure that's connected. And then we'll want to click this arrow and go to map controller. This is where we tell SimHub on this turn racing wheel what all the buttons correspond to which control, right? So in this case, shift down, I'm gonna hit my left paddle shifter, shift up, I'm gonna hit my right paddle shifter. And let's just set up two other controls. I don't wanna go through all of them or else we'll be here all day. So let's just set the horn and let's just set the headlights. So if you were doing this for real, you'd typically go through and set all these up. There's even a nice setting here to automatically go to the next roll. So you can just quickly uh, go through them one by one and it's gonna automatically keep switching just to save you a little bit of time. So we'll hit okay once that's done. So we see now it's showing me the numbers that the turn racing um, button plate has for its controls. So in this case, shift down on the turn racing wheel is corresponds to number 15. Okay, but in the VJoy controller output mapping, shift down is always gonna be one. So what that means is that whenever we set up the controls in the game, it's always gonna be shift down one, but SimHub knows what each wheel uh, is and basically then maps that to, to button one. Hopefully that makes sense. So the next thing we would do is now we're basically ready to configure our first game. So I'm just gonna use Content Manager, um, a set of Corsa for this example. So right now you'll see for my wheel settings, I have um, button 16 for, for the next gear, which is what the turn racing wheel is if I was just setting it like on its own. But now what we wanna do is you'll see here under the controller devices that a set of Corsa Content Manager picks up. These are all the different hardware that I have connected, right? So now we see at the top the VJoy device because we have that virtual controller running. So essentially what we wanna do now is go back to our mapping assistant on our phone. We're gonna hit to reassign next gear and we're gonna hit shift up on here. And when I do that, you'll see now it's button two. Okay, and if we go back to SimHub, let me just close that. You see SimHub shift up is always two. But basically what it's saying is that when it gets the input from the turn racing controller of shift up 16, that actually means two. So you can see why when you swap wheels, you don't need to change the settings in game. You're only gonna set this up once. Okay, so let's just go through and do a couple other ones here. We're gonna do shift down. So I'm pressing shift down on my phone. And what else did we do? We did horn and headlights, right? So we'll go to headlights and we'll hit headlights on the phone and then we're going to do our horn and we hit that and then we're good okay so essentially you would just be um you don't need to repeat this step you would set this up once in your each game so you do have to do it per game you need to set the virtual controller as now your default device um and then within sim hub you need to map all your different steering wheels so if you have like 10 wheels yes this might take you a good part of a of the afternoon to do. Um, but if you have 
you know, two or three. I only have, I think, three wheels. I have four or five probably by the end of the month. But, you know, you just need to go through and do that work initially. But then once you go to swap wheels, this is going to be really easy. Just plug and play. You're not going to have to think about, you know, control mapping or anything like that again. So, yeah, really cool, cool feature. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, consider hitting the like button. Would definitely appreciate that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Was this useful? Did Are you having issues? If you are, I'll try to respond to you directly. Um, were you using uh, another piece of software to do something similar like this? And are you going to be switching to this? Or do you find what you're doing better now? I'd love to know what other options there are, are out there. I mean, this seems pretty easy and straightforward to me. But if there's an easier way to achieve this, I would love to know. Um, so yeah, until the next one. Stay safe, happy racing.